All right. <coughs> Pardon me. It says we're live. Oh my god. Holy moly everybody. That's a lot of chat. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Hi. <laughs> um you want to give me a second to maybe read this or what should we do here? Uh no. <clears throat> everyone, no, it didn't end. We're we're still I think we're good, right? Is everyone everyone's here? Let me just let me let me just see. Let me just see here. <clears throat> Pardonnez-moi. So, if I go to YouTube... Um, <laughs> I think we're live, everybody. You confirm? I, I see a, that's a ton of... It's a ch ton of chat, everybody. Hey, wait a minute. This chat doesn't allow me to reply to anybody. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. I can't reply to people on this. That's right. Yeah. Oh, everyone's here. Steven. Hello. Um, Uh-oh. We got a lot of people here. All right. Uh, I'm probably just going to, like, scan through it for a second. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that. Rebecca. Did I miss the live? No. Mike. Mike. Hunt. It just ended. No, it did not. Uh, Roy Miller. Still waiting for it to start. Oh, jeez. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for um lining up like this yeah uh re-inkstone is not just a myth saw a promising video no manife do re-inkstone is a real product that is not being distributed <laughs> it's a real thing and um no one seems to be really getting their stuff uh so yeah uh let's see the live showcase is at 5 30 p.m west coast in japan uh b clarky is goody reader a multinational business yes um uh b clarky uh, we have five offices in the world. We have uh, Chicago, Vancouver, uh, Tokyo, where I am now, um, Hong Kong, and uh, Shenzhen, China. So we have five offices. So sometimes we ship from different places, reply to you from different places, stuff like that. I uh, would love to see some wood block prints on e-ink display. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's a really good idea. Wow. Okay. Hi, guys. Courtney. Tim. Tim Coleman. Don't remember if I've seen you here. Maybe. Mine's in the mail, he says. Oh, he got one. Gianna, Jania Walker has an e-reader uh, badge or stamp or emoji or something. Fantastic. Hi, everybody. As always, not as always, um, as we've been doing the last two lives, uh, I have raided the um, receiving department downstairs of the office. And we're going to do some on... We're going to do some live unboxings. If you've caught our last week, if it's something I can't show you, something that we're bound by NDA, unfortunately, I'm not going to show you. So this could either be very, very fun. And this is sealed. This is honestly, let's just tape the hell in back. Um, this could either be very interesting or incredibly boring because it might be something I can't even show you on camera. Don't worry. We'll get to the air sea in a second. All right. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. I can't show you this. Show you the box. I know what this is. <clears throat> this is a uh, this is an eye reader. Oh, shh. can't show you that yet. I got one more. Don't worry. Again, this could be very boring because I I don't know what's what. I just I could very well just be grabbing stuff from uh, uh you know the products receiving. They're not always samples. What is that? Oh, yeah, that's just inventory. All right, everybody. <laughs> Last week was better. We had, like, Garmin smartwatches and all sorts of stuff. All right, Air C. Here it is. Uh, I have uh, seasonal allergies right now, as we just say allergies in Van uh, Canada. But, um, yeah, I have um, uh, hay fever, I guess. Uh, I, I know people in the States say hay fever. 
Yes, I have uh, taken my Arius or Allegra pills. I can't remember which one. One of them. So, uh, there's way too much chat for me to catch up on. So, unfortunately, um, I am going to uh, just get into this. Oh, let's see what Tim's saying here. Yeah, excited about getting my Yoda phone too. Wow, you seem to be really on the ball when it comes to e-paper devices. A little red bird. That's the name of the person. Said just order one today. Can't wait till it arrives. Sweet. Goody Reader looks like it's an awesome job. Yeah, it's um, it's a it's a big job. We have to, you know, do a lot of stuff and go everywhere, and it's a, it's a big thing. Uh, Tim, really want to see a Mira Pro review? Yeah, the thing about the Mira Pro is um, <clears throat> pardon me, it's very expensive. It's uh, I think it's like seventeen hundred bucks or something like that. So. For us to secure a sample from Onyx, it is taking a little bit longer. We get samples pretty quickly. We got the AirC very quickly and did some in-house production on it. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. I've been reading the site since like 16. Wait, since you were 16 or since 2016? Either way, that's, that's great. Unless you're 17 and that would only mean you've been reading us for a year. Anyways, let's look at this. Let's look at this, shall we? <laughs> Air C, everybody. First thing I wanted to show you all are the pens. Because we've been having a lot of people say, what about the pens? What about the pens? So I'm going to line them up in a generational kind of um, lineup here. So there we go. Just like that. So on the very left... Oh, my mom's here. Hello. Awesome. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> on the very left is the Air Pen. This is the Air 1. This one completely changed onyx's game because <clears throat> pardon me i hope i can get through this <coughs> i'm really i'm on the verge of sneezing every three seconds and it's like i can't sneeze uh so we got the air pen this is the air one and why this one was very interesting is because it's using pinpoint conical nibs no other pen of theirs since this has ever used any of these nibs they sell the nibs they still have replacement nibs, but no one else uses it, and we're not sure why. They did briefly use this on the Nova Air, the white one, not the Air color. But since then, they just they, they stopped using it. I don't know why. It has a very high level of pressure, uh, of sensitivity, very accurate, and there's a half a millimeter gap between the actual nib and the holster itself. It's impossible to see. So why that is is because it accounts for flex, and this thing is one of the best pens we've ever used legitimately <clears throat> then they took a step back the note 5 the air 2 and everything else used this pen it was a little bit strange because they got rid of the air tips and we're not sure why they did that so now they're using the regular wacom tips the rounded graphite ones the blend of materials is good it it, it is a very good nib but unfortunately they don't have um, uh, as high of an accuracy as the Air 1. Tim just said, by the way, my son, Seven, is freaking out that you said hi. Oh, hi, Tim Coleman's son. What's going on? Yeah, no, for sure. This is, uh, this is live. So, um, yeah, we're, we're showing off the Air C today. So stand, stand by for greatness. <clears throat> this is the Nova Air C pen. This has never been released on anything else thus far. It's very hard to see on especially webcam across the world. Sorry about this, everybody. This is not gray. It is blackish green. They use a blackish green paint on a lot of their devices. This is not gray. And you can see that kind of, hopefully. You, you can watch the review video. We, we showed it off pretty well. This is kind of a uh, um, like kind of a light black gray stone. This is blackish green. It is very evident when you tilt it into the light. And uh, they've been doing that since the Lumi when they, they changed the back panels. This pen has contrasting kind of um, gunmetal logoing and a little magnet snap. And it uses the, the regular tips. So they don't use the air tips. And we're not sure why they got rid of this. Um, I don't know why. This is a great pen, the Air 1. It had the conical nibs, really accurate, really pinpoint, fantastic. But the beauty about this is that you can use all of these pens on this unit. You can use any pen on this unit. You can use iReader pens. You can use uh, uh, Boyu. You can use Mitsubishi, Stadler, Lamy. I mean, the sky's the limit. Anything will work on this. So let's crank it on here. <clears throat> Now, this live is mostly for you guys to ask questions about what you want to see on here. And we'll do the best we can. But we did 
do a, a review a re, re, re. we did a review yesterday so if you guys want to head over to our youtube channel you will see the review there i think it's like a 16 minute review and uh, we had all cylinders firing there was like the script guy <clears throat> once we did uh we had someone doing the b-roll as i was doing the uh, voiceover audio and once that b-roll was done it got sent over to the pc where someone actually was editing it while i was doing the uh, the audio, and then we had uh, pictures come in from Onyx and like um, overlaying specs and stuff like that. So it was a crazy team effort. We we needed to get it done like ASAP because um, well, just this just came out. And yes, I'm wearing my limited edition Goody Reader shirt from Vista Print. You know it. All right, <clears throat> I'm just gonna wait here until you guys ask a question about this. No, too long. All right, let's look at some stuff. This is the... Oh, wow, you actually did. Faster than I could finish my terrible joke. Video in A2 mode, thanks. Jeez, okay. B Clarky 12 right on the ball there. All right, so we're going to go to apps. Ah, Aaron. Aaron Santiago said SD card slot. <clears throat> when we had our little table discussion, and we were talking to Mike in Vancouver as well, and we were like, hands down, legitimately... What are the cons? Like, what are the cons? And we were like, no 4G? I mean, nobody uses 4G except uh, the EE right and BigMe devices use 4G. And then we were like, I can't think of any. We are like, okay, the biggest con of this unit, actually the biggest con, is the SD card slot. Because, and I'll get to a video in A2 mode for a second. When we go to... Uh, storage i was like where am i going here come on is it storage yeah okay i'll show you this when you go to storage unfortunately with almost nothing on here but a, a book and a pdf over a third of your storage is dedicated to the ui so 36 percent of it is already being used for uh the unit itself just to exist and we don't have videos, we don't have music, we just have a couple images, stuff like that. So, unfortunately, the storage is lacking. But, you can use a lot of cloud services. Because this is running Android, you can get Google Drive, you can get OneDrive, you can put anything you want on here. You can have everything downloaded on your Kindle app, so that... Let's turn it on here so that everything's in your Kindle library. It's not actually on your device. See, all this stuff is on our library right now. Um, Alice in Wonderland, uh, Naruto, everything like that. So you don't have to really worry too much about storage. You honestly don't because most stuff isn't stored locally. So, um, yeah, Mike Kane. Yes, 64 gigs and 128s are mostly reserved for the upper echelons of devices. But, uh, yeah, let's get back to this here. So we're going to go to a... Neo browser. <clears throat> Pardon me once more. Uh, oh, what's this? I've never seen that yet. Oh, they have Chrome light in the background. That's kind of cool. Nice. All right. So let's go back here and show something copyright free. There you go. This is me working on my car. So this is video. And we're going to go down here to the e-ink center. And we'll go over to A2 mode. Unfortunately, everybody, they got rid of X mode. X mode is now gone. So this is video in A2 mode. This is me fixing the top panels on my roof. And I won't dwell too much on this, Weather but... Oh my gosh, the audio turned on. Hold on. Here yeah. Let's turn the volume down. Because, obviously, you can watch the review video if you want to hear the audio. So with A2 mode, there is a lot of staining, you'll see. There's a lot of staining, but... That's pretty. That's a pretty good frame rate, if you ask me. I mean, that's really fast. This is e-ink, everyone. This is not a LCD panel. This is literally actual particles of essentially ink, simulating ink, bouncing up and down, up and down through a color array filter. And uh, yeah, um, okay, well, I guess we could show or let you listen to audio just for a second. The audio is really good too. You get stereo speakers. No, they're real speakers. Some people say, well, one's just a grill for a speaker. And really, there's just like a microphone behind it. No, they're actual stereo speakers. So it is quite nice, in fact. Um, you do want video on A2 mode, of course. You don't want to do video on any other mode. It's just going to be too choppy. So 
Uh, Lester, video on e ink. Yeah, video on e ink is not new. Video on e ink has is not a revelation. It's been around for about seven years. Um, what what actually showed this the best was if you go to our channel and look at the uh, Siswu Dark Moon R9. It was a dual screen LCD e ink phone that played video no problem. Video has been around for almost a decade. Uh, yeah, and uh, this is um, Onyx has been rocking videos forever. They have X mode, which essentially plays at full frame rate. Um, all right, so, oh, max saturation would be interesting. All right, let's scale back. Who asked that? Uh, Kato Bruce Lee 08. All right, cool name. Max saturation. Uh, I think this one. No. Oh, it, that is max saturation. So this is max saturation, and this is the lowest saturation. This one's the most pale. And then max saturation was... um uh kind of like you know orangey and, and warm kind of thing uh how's the color saturation yeah someone else asking that uh tim coleman my daughter wants to watch slash listen to baby shark on it <laughs> um i don't know if we can do that live because the baby shark is trademarked so i can show this because this is me working on my car but i don't think i can show baby shark sorry about that but get one and, and turn on baby shark you most certainly could uh, let's see. Azuma Tomlinson, do you think storage is enough for most people? I think so. Again, you can just, uh, um, you can just use, uh, cloud ser ser services. Um, Lester, yeah, it's not going to look good on this camera. It really won't. But trust me, we've been in this business for 13 years. We're completely impartial. We work with 30 different distributors and not even including all the one-off companies that deal with us. These colors are so vivid in relation to everything else we've seen, it's ridiculous. It is very hard to show on a webcam, but check out our review video. The colors are as popping as they've ever been. And it's quite impressive that this is able to be done on e-paper. A webcam doesn't have a lot of features. There's not a lot of white balance, manual white balancing and stuff like that. So it's just kind of doing whatever it can do to maintain the most ideal settings for this. So, yeah. Okay. Someone else said color note taking. So we're going to go notes. And I actually, uh, someone in the office already pre-made a page with all the colors on it. it. took a while to write, actually. There it is. That's all the colors, everybody. That's insane. Look at all those freaking colors. And watch. Turn up the blue. No, we got to turn the blue up a little bit. That's the, like the trick with color e ink. Seriously. Do a little bit of a mix like that. Boom. Look at that. Come on. Where's the comments on that? That's insanity. The only other device that can do that. Okay, well, to be honest, Big Me does it and they use the same screens. But still, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's really good. This is very, very nice. Uh, Mike Kane. It has USB OTG. Yes, it does. Uh, you can hook up a portable stick, and if that solves your problem, that's great. But remember, you're gonna have a big thing here. So you know, you're, here, let me grab some from my desk. Um, okay, it's an over exaggeration, but you're gonna have like a thing, you know, like a hub or some sort of um, you know thing sticking out that you put an SD card into. So you know, it's not gonna be flush. But yeah, it has OTG, so you can put keyboards and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, what we got here. How does the screen background compare to a conventional black and white e-ink like Nova Air, says Roy Miller. Um, I'm looking around my desk here. Uh, I don't have any e-ink devices here. Oh, scandal. Peter doesn't use e-ink. No, I do. Hold on. Oh, there's one off camera. All right, I'm back. This isn't the most impressive device on the market, the one I'm about to show you, but it is black and white e-ink. And don't worry, everyone, we are going to get into a full comparison with the Nova 3 color on this. We will. So this is the Goyu. The Goyu. -e, the Goyu. Um, yeah, we, we just started a review on this, so we haven't done really anything on it yet. But uh, yeah, um, to answer your question, whoever asked that, who asked that? Oh, man. Roy Miller. Color e-ink is never going to be as good as black and white. Reason being, on color, they utilize color to make the white. So right now, on this, what's on the screen there? Oh, it's just like a thing. On a color e-ink screen, you're seeing light browns and blues and grays all mixed together to make white. And it never looks as good as a... Um, <clears throat> 
black and white e-reader. But they did do something interesting, I will say, on this. Let's get this out of here. On this new unit, and if you go to our YouTube channel, you will see... Um, oh, yeah, I'll show you in a second, Mike. <clears throat> Man, I'm dying here. If you go to our YouTube channel and you look at a teardown, we actually tear apart an iReader... Nope, iFlyTech C1. We tear it down and we show all the layers involved in a color e-ink device. This has the new e-ink on-cell technology, which actually integrates two of the stacks together, the touch stack and the actual e-paper screen. Therefore, you have less crap in front of the actual screen in your eyes. On this, it basically you have like thin pieces of paper, thin panels. You have the actual e-ink screen, then you have the color array filter, then you have a gel layer baked onto it from factory, then you have another silicone gel layer for the glow light, and then you have a touch panel, a touch digitizer, then you have a Wacom digitizer, then you have the panel up top, then you have the glass, then you have a screen protector. You're, that's a lot of panels. That's a lot of things. Oh, they're all translucent. It doesn't affect... Sure it does. It, it lowers the opacity. Every, Heightens the opacity, makes it more opaque, whatever. It makes it more opaque every time you put something on top. And that's why traditionally sunken screen and bezels like the ink pad color, which is uh, until this probably the best looking e-reader in color. This one's looking just about the same, honestly, since they're using this new tech. That's why traditionally sunken screen and bezels always look better because they're minus three layers of stuff. Whether something's clear or not, it's never going to be 100% clear, especially if they're putting anti-glare screen protectors. This is an anti-glare screen protector. If you look in the corner here, it's hard to see. Right there. You see the reflection one millimeter north of the screen protector? It's a glass screen. This is using a glass screen. And from factory, they put a anti-glare screen film that gives you a better writing feel, that protects the device, holds everything together. It's a glass screen. So they have all this stuff in front of the actual panel and your eyes. So they've done something to actually remove a panel, uh, well, a layer. They've, can, they've joined in one layer. So that's the beauty of this new tech is that you get, and that's a thin device too. So that's the beauty of this new tech is that you get, you get less bulk, you still get all the benefits of having all those digitizers and layers and, 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 and touch panels, but it's you have the ability to make a flush screen and bezel now. So it's completely flush and it's completely tight and it's well built and it's, it's just fantastic. <coughs> Excuse me. Do a rainbow, do a rainbow, says my MZ. All right, uh, let's do a rainbow. Wait, why is oh I got a it I collapsed it. Uh, how do I? I forget how do I snap it. There you go. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go to a rainbow. I guess uh, we'll use the uh, the pen included with the device here. Uh, lasso, delete that. All right. Um, so yeah, you have all these pens up top. So we'll choose hopefully the maximum thickness of each brush. We'll do brush because that's probably the best one there. I'm not gonna do every color here, but. Yeah, I'll show off my um, my art level prowess here of how good I am at art. Oh, yeah, I'm a gangster when it comes to art. Look at that. No, I'm terrible. I can't draw anything. I can draw that bird that I draw sometimes in videos. That's it. So I'm maxed out. And a house. I can draw a house. I draw a tree. Sometimes I have a little apple falling from the tree. That's it. That is maxed out for me. All right. That that's it. Four colors. I'm not gonna bore you guys anymore. So that's uh, there's your rainbow MZ. Oh, let's do a refresh. So you go down here and you go up to full refresh. That's a good looking rainbow. And unlike a DES screen, the colors don't kind of blur together and get all sloppy. DES screens, granted, have better color vibrancy, but e ink is more stable. E ink is way more stable. So pen magnet test. All right. Boom. Oh, that would have been so cool. Boom. Very, very strong. I can actually hold it up by the pen. 
Oh my gosh, I dropped it. Okay, well, you know, that was actually stronger than I thought. Don't worry, this is nice kind of leather overlay we put here. Um, yeah, the, the pen snaps just fine, and it snaps with the other pens as well. Uh, so you can use all the other pens, and they have the little mark kind of telling you where to snap it. It's quite nice. It is very, very nice, actually. Uh, Mike, would the screen size be similar to a steno pa steno pad? Uh, psh, yeah, of course. Everyone knows what the steno pad is. I'm just going to check my phone. I think I have a message. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steno pad. Everyone knows that. Steno pad. I have no idea. What is a steno pad? Oh, it's one of those things. Yeah, I know those. It's a little metal thing. Um, yeah, kind of. Um, uh, I, I, my, my dad always had those laying around. Um, they're really great. You know what I don't like about those things, is that when you rip them off, the 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 part that touched the coil ring, the 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 cylindrically you know, wrapped helix ring or whatever. It got all like tattered, you know, but some of them had like a little perforated part before the metal ring. So it would, it would keep to rip off clean. But then after about 10 or 12 sheets, you have this big thick bunch of just the remainders and you try to rip it off. And then the, the ring is so thin and it's not rigid and you start pulling the ring. You're like, Oh, I broke my pad. Yeah. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did a rainbow. Uh, I just checked my order. April 5th said uh, Charles Rogers. Lester, I imagine an iPad would be much better. Oh, we see Lester with his iPad comments. Yeah, welcome to the channel, uh, Lester. Look into some e-paper e and then read your comment two months later. You'll see. You're not wrong. It's just not you're not right. Check that. We've hit the point where color ink is way too tempting. Uh, you know what, Cato? I think you're right. This is This is looking just about as good as color this okay you know what this doesn't it's hard to say i don't want to i don't want to talk in like ultimatums the ink pad color i'm still thinking is a little bit more crisp because it just doesn't have stuff in front of it but this is as bet as good of an experience as you're gonna get i'm just gonna go ape for a second here look i'm gonna go oh i'm gonna get my my yellow and then go over to red and I'm going to go red over. Oh, I need my blue. That's right. I need to circle that in blue and then go back here. Okay. Make a little ball. Look how quick all that was. That's never happened before. This level of usability, functionality, ease of, of user interface. None of that was possible before. This is so seamlessly refined. You, know, you want to make a, a trapezoid on the screen. You make a trapezoid. You go like this. You make, oh, I'll make a, a hexagon. Now I need that same hexagon to be thicker and a solid line. And you make a hexagon a thicker solid line. All of that is so quick that it just makes you wonder, seriously, where do they go from here? Onyx has everything. They have six layers. They can expand your canvas. Look at all these shapes. Nobody has this Morse code dotted line, especially with 16 colors that you can make the pentagons into the colors. And then they have the lasso tool. They have text um, handwriting recognition. You can, you know, that's actually something that people wanted to see. Let's convert text. You can convert text exactly where it sits. So where you've written it on the screen, or you can go back and do reflow recognition. Whoops. I added text to the screen. You can do reflow recognition. And it's going to put everything in the top left corner. And then watch this. Watch this. I'm going to go down here. Let's take some notes with nothing but my voice. Boom. Look what just happened. I just read that out. And then I can go here and I can export it. So I can export it to text and then share that via WhatsApp or Line or Facebook Messenger on here, installed on here via Google Play. And you've instantly just shared your dictation anywhere in the world. No device can do what Onyx can do. And that's that's not us saying, oh, Onyx is the best, but evidently they have more features. It's more refined. It, it's more function friendly. They have everything. They, they didn't actually leave anything out. And if you want any other features, they got all this crap down here too. Insert images, recordings. You can swap the sidebar. You can add things to the sidebar and move it around. You can add on-screen recordings just to have recordings. Hey, I'm going to put a recording here in the top right corner. And there's your recording. It's just on the page. It's mental how many things they have here. It really is. Uh, let's see what we got here. How would one replace a screen protector if need be? Kato, Bruce Lee 08. You never take this screen protector off. It is a factory screen protector. You can't take it off. And in fact, if you do, it will rip. So you can't do that. Um, you can put screen protectors on here. Yes, absolutely. 
Uh, Hersha, more expensive too. You mean the steno pads? Following my mom's comment? Or what we were talking about about this device? I'm not sure. Oh, true. That's quite fast. E-ink existing... E-ink every existing screen. E-ink every existing screen now. Oh, 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 oh. Like the verb to e-ink. I get it. I Yeah. They should. I mean, we've seen a lot of e-ink recently. We saw e-ink cars recently. The body is e-ink. We've seen uh, bus bench ads, um, uh, schedules, uh, Rico uh out of japan they make printers and stuff they made like a 43 inch whiteboard which we're trying to get but it's like four grand um yeah it's it's pretty crazy lester it's around 419 dollars for this uh jake J jacobo hernandez please show if this has ghosts like the nova color after change screen it does have ghosts of course it's e-ink every e-ink device ever will have ghosting look you see it just said there's all the text behind and I'll go again, back to the next page. There's all the color I just did. Every e-ink device in the entire planet Earth will have ghosting. It's You can't not have ghosting. The only ones that don't have ghosting are ones that have refreshes in between screen changes. There's always going to be ghosting. And then if you say you want to change it to a faster mode, then ghosting is amplified. Even the bars that were there are now there. But now everything's quicker. It's like tablet level quick. There's never going to be devices without ghosting. There's going to be limited ghosting. There's going to be devices like the Amazon Kindle that have uh, very little ghosting. But even a Kindle needs to refresh eventually. You can't have no ghosting, especially in color, especially running what this thing does. You just can't, unfortunately. I have the Nova Air one. It has like a paper texture. I feel a little nervous about that texture eroding over time. Um, yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, it's not going to, as long as you use the tips included with the device, don't use anything weird like, um, a super note ceramic nib. You're not, it's, it's going to be fine. Is there a setting for auto refresh? Yes, there is. There's refresh settings. You can go to here and go to system display and then there's refresh frequency. You can go five taps. You can do one tap. You can choose never. And it's just going to look terrible until you force a refresh. But yeah, uh, MZ, not the ghosting with two screen, two skulls. That's awesome. Lester, how big is the screen? This is 7.8. Uh, Adrian, my mom says, why ghosting? That's a very good question because a lot of people are always like, oh, look at this. There's stuff in the background. It's broken. This is like crap technology. That's not true, actually. E-ink is the exact same thing as you looking at a piece of paper. Let me get paper in the screen. It's the same thing as you looking at this. It's little tidy particles that go up and down and up and down based on what you want to see. There's ghosting because e-ink is not LCD. It's not refreshing 60 times a second, 120 times a second. If you look at this, there's me and my boy walking. This screen is refreshing anywhere between 29 to 120 times per second. Right now, one, two, three. That's hundreds of times it's already refreshed. You just don't see it because it's so fast. This, look how many times this is refreshing. Zero. This is not doing anything. It's not refreshing at all. It's drawing zero power, aside from Wi-Fi. If you had Wi-Fi off and the, blow, and the glow light off, if you turn this off and you turn the Wi-Fi off, it will stay like this until it dies. And if there's nothing in the software to tell it, trigger home screen trigger battery recharge icon it'll just look like this forever until the dinosaurs come back that's it so there's little residual particles that haven't fully been dropped or risen respectively that are still there in the background that you have to do things like force a refresh uh where is it right here to clean it and then it'll be gone that's what happens with e-ink. And it's it's something that a lot of people that are iPad frenzy, they can't get on board with. They're like, oh, an iPad's better. And it's like, well, no, it's not. This isn't better than an iPad, but an iPad is not better than this. They're completely different categories. They cannot be compared. You just, you can't. Unfortunately, they're, it's impossible. So uh, that that's the deal with that, is that there's always going to be little um, residual particles laying around. But it's the trade-off because this does not affect your eyes zero if your eyes get tired looking at a piece of paper and they're gonna get tired on anything but this does not affect your eyes pinching and zooming is quite nice as well 
You can move it around like this. And it's quite nice. No, Mom, that's not a duh. That's a very technical thing that's not um, supposed to be well-known. It's not common knowledge, so don't worry. It's a, it is a solid question, and it is a question we get a lot. You know, why is there ghosting? Why is it slow? Why does it look like this, but my phone doesn't? It's because your phone is always ready. It's going ba 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 ba. It's it's refreshing constantly so that it's ready for you to do something to it. It's ready for you to move it around. It's like, oh yeah, I'm ready. This is not ready. This is this is laying on the couch and tell suddenly you're like, get up. And you're like, oh geez, I'm not ready. You know, you don't have your socks on yet. So that's what e ink is is doing. But for it to be this quick. Is nothing short of phenomenal. Uh, can you show off OneNote writing? Yes, we can, Mike. That was something that a lot of people asked as well. Onyx is the only company so far to refine OneNote. If you open up anything else like a, a sketch app, scribble, mobile paint, you're going to draw a line and it's going to be like this. You draw a line and then like a second later it shows up. Onyx refined it to be the exact same latency as the note-taking experience. I don't know how to use this, by the way, so I don't actually know. Oh, I just go like that. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll show you some note-taking here. Let's take, watch this, some notes. And here, I'm going to draw my, my worldwide uh, award-winning tree. Oh, I've triggered something. Okay, it, this is not a, uh, uh, a good exhibition of the, the, the unit. I think I actually swiped something with my hand and it turned green. This is just user error, but yeah, this is my Isaac Newton. Uh, he's sitting here reading a book and he's like, why? And an apple falls and he's like gravity. So uh, I can't draw to save my life. Seriously. If someone's like draw to save your life. Well, that's it. Uh, Rebecca G. I love that thing laying on the couch analogy. I just came up with that. Honestly, <laughs> I don't even know if that works. So I'm glad you liked it. Uh, no one wants, no one around here wants an iPad, Lester. No, Le Lester is is um, correct. You can get an iPad Mini for that, but um, you know, and not to look down on anybody, but it, it's true. Lester hasn't been around the e-reader world, and that's totally fine. I'm not around the bricklaying world. I don't know anything about it. Uh, Lester, I do recommend you look into e-paper because you will soon see this is completely different. It's completely different. It's not about what you can get with what. This is $419. I bought a 2001 Hyundai Accent that I drove down to Seattle for $280. So you can't do that. I could buy a car and three-day insurance and drive to Mexico from Vancouver for less than the price of this. It's probably true. I've done it several times. Not Mexico. But I've bought cars for 300 bucks that run. So you can't use that analogy. It doesn't work. Yes, you can buy an iPad. I can buy a, a, a t-shirt. A freaking Supreme t-shirt is like $1,000 sometimes. So it's not, it's a bad comparison. You can't do that. You have to look into e-ink because it's, it's life-changing. It really is. These guys are not new. This is not a new thing. It's been around for decades. It is a fantastic technology. It is everywhere. Whether you go to Walmart, Kroger's, e-ink e is everywhere. You'll, you'll see it. It's completely true. Um, I thought the tree was Isaac. Oh man, Lester, I'm terrible at drawing, man. Seriously. Does Evernote work? Evan Douglas, it does, but I don't have it on here. I didn't, I didn't put it on here, but people are asking about this. Google play. Yes. There are only three manuf three manufacturers. <laughs> That's six. Everybody. There's only three manufacturers that use Google play. There is, uh, Boyu and there is Dasung and there is Onyx. Boy use like, yeah, we got Android 9. Dasung doesn't have note taking. Can't really take advantage of it for the most part. Oh, are you a former bricklayer? That's awesome, JD. That, that, what are the odds that the one thing I said you are? Like that's, and that wasn't even common. I didn't even use like, you know, nurse, lawyer, doctor kind of thing. Wow, that's awesome. Sweet. <clears throat> Thank you for doing that. Because, um, yeah, I did construction and demo and all this really hard work and no one ever, you know said like thanks for that you know what i mean like you gotta appreciate the the things that you know take a lot of hard work and expertise like that you really do this is uh the google play store and yeah it's fully functioning i mean you know to say you can't really play asphalt 8 on this i mean you could you can put anything it's android 11 this is the highest level of android ever found on e-paper 
Uh, Evan Douglas, battery life, and that's it. Uh, battery life is 2,000 uh, milliamps, so it's not the highest, but, you know, it, it's e-paper, so you don't really need big batteries. You you could, but yeah. Uh, oh, and oh, that's what you're saying. No, the... B the only difference between this and iPad is battery life is not correct. There's worlds of differences. There is a ton of technology that goes into e-paper. Tons of technology. Not just the battery life. And in fact, this isn't an e-reader. This is a tablet. This is a tablet with an e-paper screen. It's not an e-reader. Um, by any means. E-readers just read books. That's it. What we got here? MZ, can it automatically refresh after a set amount of time being idle? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, that's a, you know, that's a really good question. Yeah, can you set a timer? So you get full refresh frequency, amount of taps. Uh, hmm, power? You get auto sleep after five minutes. Power time off. Whoa. I think MZ just found a, uh, little thing we can pitch to Onyx because we do some testing now and then for some companies, Supernode and uh, iReader and, um, you know, Crokey and all these kind of up and coming companies aside from those guys. And uh, they're always like, what do you guys think? And that's why Reinkstone and Topjoy gave us their stuff. They're like, what do you guys think? And for a while there, to be completely honest, Reinkstone and Topjoy were quite vocal. They were sending some stuff out to people. They were, um, they were messaging us and we were doing tons of, <clears throat> tons of update videos. And uh, then they just dropped off the side of the earth. I think, MZ, you just thought of a very good idea. A, not a refresh after how much time it's, uh, sorry, not a refresh after how many taps, but a refresh after how much time spent at idle. That's a good one. 10 points to you. All right. What do we got? Charles Rogers. iPads and e-readers for reading. I like my e-reader. I have a note. Oh, no, for sure. There's a time and a place. I'm not using e-ink monitors for my work. I'll use ink monitors for my secondary monitor, not this one, but I have like a secondary monitor or tertiary, I guess. But no, your workflow has to be LCD LED. There's no way you can do work on an e-paper screen. If it if it's make or break and you don't have a choice and, you know, you suffer from like, you know, eye issues, then yeah, e-ink monitors are absolutely perfect for sure. But they're just not at the level yet. Uh, does the Kobo for reading... But the i oh they have a Kobo for reading, but the iPad is better for tablet stuff. Uh, yes, absolutely it is. BC Clarky, you can put the refresh button at the bottom corner of the screen. Also the A2 button. Yeah, yeah. So you have this floating ball. A lot of people don't know about. A lot of people turn it off. You know, you have a lot of stuff here. You have screenshot. You have um, you can turn it off from here. You can do the multi window thing to show you everything that's running in the background. You can even force a refresh you can press the back button that is no longer on the bottom the floating ball is quite nice and no matter where you put it it's always going to arch perfectly so that it never got never gets cut off you know what i mean uh what do we got here um eric aluhe can you show manga pdf and storage capacity yes we already did that eric i'm just kidding but we did but you just weren't here for it that's totally fine storage unfortunately even with a couple things on here just three like two pdfs and a and a uh, an EPUB totaling more than no more than 25 MB, 30% of your device storage goes to the unit. So unfortunately, that's if you're looking for something that has a lot of local storage, no, it's not that great. If you're looking for something to use Google Play so you can use Google Drive and all of your online storage, cloud storage, this is perfect. And you wanted to look at Manga, we will show that real quick. Show some Mongos here for you. Boom. Look at that. Go like that. Zoom in on Luffy getting aced. There you go. Ink monitors. Yeah. Oh, Lester, man. You got. I, I'm glad you're here. I really am. This isn't like a uh, an attack on your love of iPads. I love iPads. But Lester, man, you got to get on this yesterday. Check out Ink. They have everything. Everything. Like, yes, they've been doing videos on Ink for you know seven years, almost a decade. That uh, Ink's been around for twenty years. Sony was the first guys to use Ink. Uh, ink monitors, yeah, we have a bunch of them. Um, we uh, Dasung and um, Rico and Onyx all make ink monitors. It's fantastic stuff. It really is. Uh, Evan Douglas, dying to see the Nova Three comparison. We we are doing that. We did. Uh, we had some guys do some the B roll yesterday, side by side, super close zoom in stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's gonna be coming up real real soon. How does it do with tiny handwriting? Oh, we never get that question, Roy. Never. I'm not going to show you. No, I will. You know what? 
for tiny handwriting, let's pull out the Air 1 pen with the conical nibs. I love these nibs. Seriously. Really cool. Tiny handwriting. What does he mean by that? No, okay. Uh, what do you want? Like a pen maybe? We'll do a... I mean, how small do you want to go here, right? Like, I guess we could go 0 0.5. Oh, man. All right. There you go. What do you want me to write? I'll just write something. All right. Where's undo? There it is. All right. Uh, and what's your name? Roy. Okay. Tiny handwriting. I'm going to write your name as small as humanly possible. For Roy Miller. No, oh, it's actually pretty good. Look at that. Whoa. You know, to be honest, we do a lot of um, uh, videos where we just, you know, we write big for the viewers. But it's a good point. Tiny handwriting. Look at that. That's pretty, that's pretty small. Let's put the pen tip next to it to show you. It's smaller than the pen tip. Yeah, it's nice. Write swimming in cursive. Oh, you're calling me out here, Roy. Do I remember my cursive? You know, in in Canada, I don't know if it's a Canadian thing. We we don't call it cursive. It is officially recognized as cursive, but we say handwriting. I don't know if that's the thing. Can I do that? S W I. Is that a, is that enough W's? M. Oh, it's an N. M has three bumps. I N G. Swimming. <laughs> Watch the tabloids blow up that I don't know cursive. No, I do. I just, I don't, I haven't done it in like, what, 20 years? Why do I ever need to do cursive? Let me try again. Okay. That's an S, right? S W I M M. Jesus. I N G. Oh, my mom's really good at cursive, I remember. Boom. How's that? Is that, is, 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 is that good? Uh, to use your analogy, Lester, get rid of the Kobo and iPad and do the opposite. Goody read paper. Oh, I did right. I did it. I did it. I did good. I did well. Perfect. Rudy Martinez. I don't like that ball thing. Wish you could hide it. You can. You go over here. You go to apps. You go to navigation ball. You turn it off. It's gone forever. You can hide it. It's totally easy. Uh, yeah, MZ, no, the tabloids don't care about us. We're not popular enough, so I can make mistakes all day long. This was a good live, though. This was a good one so far. I haven't really made many errors, and you guys are very vocal. This is fantastic. Um, it very much loves the, uh, uh, love the interaction here. That looks more like waves. Yeah, I can't. I'm not. I, we learned it in school, um, but how often do you use cursive, aside from just signing your name? And in fact, in Japan, you don't really sign your name. Uh, you use uh, stamps. Yeah. Actually, I can show you my stamp. I have it at my desk here because when we get uh, packages and stuff in Japan, you use these. This is called a hanko, a stamp. It comes in a little leather case like this, and you open it up, and they're like, can you sign here? And you're sure. You go, bump, 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 and you go, Dum. I'm not going to do it because this is my official stamp. And if you take a picture of it, you'll be able to sign for stuff on my behalf. But yeah, it says my name and stuff right there. It says my full name, first, middle, and last name. And uh, that's, how you, um, that's how you stamp stuff. And that's how you sign for stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like inlaid with like a crane and a, a turtle. They're like fighting over some shrubs. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, yeah, let's see. Test case if you have, please. Ah, oh, Jacobo. Jacobo Hernan Hernandez? Hernandez. Yeah. Um, we don't have a case. They didn't give us a case. I don't know why. They didn't give us a case. Uh, my mom says, I don't think they teach cursive in school. Do they? I remember bringing my cursive home. And, uh, no, actually, I think I remember you, my mom, uh, writing cursive. And when I first saw it, I was like, what the hell is that? Like, that's some alien farsi looking language and uh yeah it was um it was it was cool and yeah they taught it in school and we all knew it we knew the capitals and lowercase and everything and we had to you know we they had like the dotted lines and you had oh yeah i'll show you so <laughs> let's look at this everybody instead of me blathering away they had oh watch this i can actually show you guys because i can do a line and i can go line with dots oh man this is badass look at that yeah so in school I remember they had like, they had us do this and it was like, S, 
W. And then they had the big ones like, and now an L class. Oh, perfect. Like they, they, they made you do all that. And like, yeah, we all knew it. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't just don't use it at all. Oh man, Kato uses, or Kato, Kato uses uh, Curse of Every Day still. That's awesome. Um, they use stamps in Korea too. I didn't know that. Uh, that's really cool. Um, I've been to South Korea. I've just never, I've never been in there for any more than fourteen days. So I don't, I don't know the 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 everyday um. Uh, what do you call, uh, you know, ma uh, the, the culture of it. But yeah, that's really cool. Uh, Kato, hi, off topic. How easy if, is it for to pick up e-readers in store in Japan? Oh, really bad. Man, you know what I've noticed? Um, the three major countries that we operate in, um, which is Canada, America, and Japan, are terrible for e-readers. Man, you go to Walmart in Canada, and I don't think there's e-readers at all. You, I, at one point, there was like... There's no booth with an e-reader at a Walmart for the most part. Sometimes at Best Buy you'll find like a Kobo booth or a Kindle. No, we uh, you you can go to Chapters Indigo and they have a couple Kobos there. Um, really bad. Japan's pretty bad for that. Japan makes a lot of e-ink tech, a lot. If you've seen our channel, most of the trade shows we go to <clears throat> revolved around e-ink things that have signs, things that have like. Uh, you know, the big 45-inch monitors we um, report on and stuff like that. It's all in Japan. Japan makes Sony. They make Linfini. They make all the panels for, like, you know, Fujitsu. And it's insane. But for some reason, um, yeah, they don't uh, they don't have a lot in store, which was very strange because uh, we did a little short as well. Let me just pop up. We did a little short, and we showed that even at a bookstore with a Kobo booth, they don't have anything current. It's really weird. Uh, Barnes and Noble exists in the states, I guess, right? So, uh, supposedly they're not teaching cursive anymore, but skid, but but skids, but kids are still learning it in the school. Oh, nice, Tim. Thanks, Santiago Muneda Patino. Reading PDF and landscape look good. Sense of portrait. Too small screen for that. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's look at that. We're almost out of time here. You guys are fantastic. All right, PDF. Oh, but this is a portrait biased PDF. I don't know if it's gonna look good. All right, here's a portrait. Look at it. Uh, how do you do this? So you go here, you go rotate, and you choose the T. So there we go. I said, there we go. Jeez. Okay, well, it, it, it's a portrait PDF, but let's go like this to take advantage of the width. Boom. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. What was your name, Santiago? Santiago Minera Panino. Yeah, it looks it looks alright. Uh colors are great, very vibrant. Uh, a lot of ghosting, of course, but you can you can just refresh the screen and all that goes away. Uh yeah. It's um Oh, Daniel Neubauer, do you send devices to South Korea? Yes, we ship anywhere in the world except for a couple places off limits right now. But yeah, in South Korea you really you literally only have the Reedy books. Reedy books? I know Kyobo. You're like blowing my mind here. What is Reedy Books? Never heard of that. Okay, we're gonna have to look into that. Thank you very much, Daniel. See, I always tell you guys. Like, I always tell you guys. Wait, hold on. I missed my thing here. There we go. I always tell you guys. You guys, you know, you bring a lot of stuff to our attention. I mean, we have like the inside info of the stuff we know about. There's people that are always like, hey, have you heard of this? We have people send us stuff for free that aren't even in a company. They're like people. It, to which we always give them something back or pay them for it because, like, come on, we don't want that. But, yeah, it's insane. Like, um, I did not know. Like, Michael probably knows. He's got, he, he he leads the news publication division of Goody Reader. But Reedy Books, I don't know about that. I know Kyobo. We dealt with Kyobo. Kyobo was one of the first companies we ever dealt with in an official capacity nine years ago when we absorbed Shopee Readers. That was one of our first actual contracts with, with, with the Kyobo Miracell. I remember that. Uh, yeah, there's... Um, I never heard of that. Thank you very much. Peter, take the day off and just stay here all day. No, man, we got a lot to do. Sorry, Stephen. We got a lot to do. I got to get I gotta, I gotta, gotta get back to work. Um, and I stole a bunch of stuff from receiving, and I don't, I don't know if people need it. I did it for the little unboxing surprise, make unboxing a fun boxing, but... Um, I just stole like three boxes of stuff, so I got to get it back after we're done here. In Italy, every major bookstore has a partnership with either Kobo or Kindle having them on display to try. Wow. 
That's cool. I always wanted to go to Italy. I'm Italian. I just never been there. Yeah, that's really cool. Wow. How vibrant is ACEP for signage? Tim, head over to our channel right now. We went to Tokyo last November, I think. Last summer? Anyways, and we did advanced color e-paper. We had a huge, gigantic 20, maybe 36 inch um, uh, dithering display, multicolor. And uh, yeah, we did a little mini review on it. So check that out because it's, uh, it's supposed to be pretty cool. Do you see the guy who made an e-ink newspaper? Oh yeah, I think uh, he got like a, a panel, right? And then he put a little flex cable on it and then he kind of finished the trim around it. And it's like, look, it's an e-ink newspaper. Yeah, there's a lot of Raspberry Pi, um, uh, what do you call, like um, component things you can buy. Yeah, for sure. Ritty Paper is their device line. Daniel, man, like, I want to send you a case for your trouble. Hit us up after if you, if you, uh, uh, for your time. I'm not kidding. Like, we, we, we very much appreciate things like that. Um, uh, I always reference this one because it was a recent one, but someone sent us that, um, and I forget it every time. Ace of Base knows what it is. I keep forgetting it. It's that, it's that one in Iran or, or Pakistan or something. They have like a Farsi e reader. And I, every freaking time I think of it, I can't remember the name. Ah, yeah. Uh, Harry Potter's animated newspapers. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Kato says, yup. And Tim Coleman says, yes, on a hack day. I'll take a look. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, take a look. Everybody, we're down for our, we're done for an hour. We did an hour today because this is like uh, just a big one. So okay, I'll ask you a couple more. Zuakto, what is the difference between no between the air and Nova three color? Um, the body. There we go. The body's different, completely built from the ground up. It has these three little pins for peripherals, like page uh. uh uh, cases with physical page turn buttons on it and this has the on cell technology which means they've combined two of the layers into one so it's actually a thinner stack of what you're looking at so that's that's the major differences there outside of that uh you get android 11 that's like two sticks but it's 11 it's not two versus android 10 yeah uh evan douglas new firmware for the for this um Oh, are you answering his question? I don't know what's happening. But yeah, uh, I think... Actually, today... Today... Oh, wow. The, I actually didn't know the whole thing would be in landscape. Today, they said uh, there should be a firmware update. It didn't change anything we did in the review. It's just fixed some known issues, they said. So we're going to do that. But it's 1.2 gigs, so we're not going to do it now. Always happy to help. Maybe you can send some links, translated specs after. Yeah, uh, that's... I'm writing that down. Um... Ritty paper. That's uh, awesome. I forgot to write it down. I said I'm writing it down, but I'm going to write it down right now. I could just write it down on here. No, I might delete it. Ritty paper. Boom. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, have you seen the Ian Carr? Yeah, that was absolutely ridiculous. Not a good way. I'm a car person, so when I see something like that... And you, you know what? Uh, when that came out, I got a bunch of emails, personally from peop people... Uh, I think Steven even brought it to my attention. He's like, have you seen the Ian car? You like cars and you like, you like Ian. And it's like, you'd think that'd be like the golden combination for me as a human. But I, I didn't like it. I think, I think it was good proof of concept, but kind of, kind of silly. You know, it's, I don't know, it's like making an Ian shirt. <laughs> oh, that'd be interesting. Actually, you wouldn't be able to do it yet because once you change, that's the thing about Ian is once you do that, you can do it. Ian can dang well fold in half, but you know, I'll get a better piece of paper. Here it is. Here's an e-ink panel. Once you do that, looks like you could have an e-ink shirt, but you can't do that at the same time. With a shirt, I can twist it up like that. But with this, once I have it one axis, I can't do the other axis at the same time. And that's the problem. They can make, they already make e-ink that rolls. They make e-ink that just go like a scroll. They have it already. But you can't make an e-ink shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Bad for hit and runs. Yeah, imagine the insurance claim. Oh, I hit my fender. You know, on a regular car with paint and aluminum. It's like, oh, it's 650 insurance claim. This is like, okay, well, that'll be a nine, $9,850. And it's like, yeah, man, there's no way. Imagine all the... The flex cables going into central hub to even power that thing yeah really cool concept but 
I don't like it. <laughs> I'm on record to say I don't like it. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so cool. I wish I could stay here all day and talk with you guys and show this unit, but we got a lot of work to do. Got a lot of stuff on the docket. The Y Ben is waiting. The little four inch e reader. Got a bag of cashews off camera that I'm I'm dying to now I'll just show you guys. I got this bulk bag of cashews I'm dying to like just tear into. But I don't want to be popping cashews on camera here, so uh yeah thank you guys so much you guys are fantastic we have a full review on this on the channel we have an unboxing we got some promo videos that onyx gave us mike is going to do some podcasts every week um he's been really killing that he's been leading the news publication team he's been absolutely dominating that we're gonna be um reviewing a whole bunch of stuff really soon got a lot of stuff we got garmin coming up we got the Gligo smartwatch. You guys are fantastic. Lester, thank you very much for being so vocal today. Please study up on e-ink. We want you part of this community. Mike, you you guys are... you good. Tim, uh, very vocal. Say hi to your, uh, your kids there. What's up? MZ, thank you so much for your info. Daniel, thanks for the, the, the tip on the, um, the Korean e-reader there. Evan Douglas, what firmware is this? I forgot your question, but uh, it is firmware build. This one. Whatever that is. That's the latest one. Oh, you mean like Android. Android 11. Yeah. Uh, who else we got here? Steven Prosser, of course. Uh, my mom stopped by. Thank you very much. I'm Charles Rogers. Mike Kane. Uh, JD Punet. Man, we got a lot of people here today. Uh, we got... Uh, what do we got here? Uh, what Fireflies? Man, you guys are great. Mastoris. Uh, oh, we got a 5,000... <gasps> South Korean one. Um... Donation from Daniel Neubauer. Daniel, thank you very much. You are very much appreciated from that. Um, I just fl you could actually do this because the five the one thousand won is a uh, it's a note, right? It's a it's a like a one dollar note. So it's like boom, boom, boom. You 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 guys are great. You gave us the info and then you donate. That's ridiculous. You drop us a line after this. Seriously, here, go here. Everyone, go here. Watch this. You guys want to you guys want to talk about anything? You guys want to talk about anything right here? What is this double page? Actually, oh, because I'm in landscape and I didn't expand my canvas. I got to expand my canvas. Uh, one by one. Two by two? Two by one. There we go. Oh, two by two. There we go. So yeah, if you guys want any, if you guys have any questions, store at Goody Reader dot com hit that up and we'll definitely talk oh tim coleman hits it up with another five dollars us you guys are fantastic seriously you guys are so thank you very much tim coleman say hi to all your kids and i'm glad they 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 came in and were surprised at the live as well um when you get this delivered to you show them baby shark they'll love it i wish i could show you baby shark right now but unfortunately uh copyright and all that fun stuff so thank you guys so much you guys are really fantastic we don't need donations that's not what this is about but you guys are very very much appreciated i'm gonna take both of those oh it just warms my heart i'm gonna go out and buy a donair mm, that'd be good yeah no i'm gonna put it in the uh it, it just goes into the company thank you and then i take it out and buy a donair no uh thank you very much guys uh, my mom said write it on your steno pad you know that'd be a cool idea a steno pad e-reader that looks like a steno pad. They got e-readers that are made out of wood. I mean, sky's the limit at this point. Thank you guys so much. Uh, hit us up if you have any questions. Uh, leave some comments down below. Uh, we will be manning the, um, what do you call, uh, the chat for a little bit. Uh, sorry, not the chat. The comments for a little bit after the fact if there's any straggler questions. We have a contest going on right now. We got lots of stuff. Thank you very much. You guys are fantastic. Needs to switch Twitch to stream games. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Don't. Do that by cashews. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how expensive cashews are, Tim? It, like, oh, my dad swears by, like, he not even swears by cashews. He's a cashew machine. Not that he makes cashews, that he eats them. And I get that from him, guaranteed, because once you stop, it's like $10 a bag almost. But once you stop, it's just, you, you can't, once you start, you can't stop. Who could stop a cashew? Who says they don't like cashews? Some, just, just nobody. There's nobody. You might be like, oh, almonds are kind of, you know, they need to be paired with chocolate and pistachios or this, that, and the other thing. Cashews are king. I think they're the king of nuts. I think they mean, they're not even a nut. They're a legume. Anyways, thank you very much. My mom, hello. Thank you. Goodbye. I'll message you in a bit. 
showed her some really cool pictures of the cherry blossoms going on. Thank you all so much. You guys are fantastic. See you next week. I'm still going to buy a donator. With your $5, Tim. I mean, I'm going to make sure I know that that's your $5. I'm going to buy that donator. And then I'm going to take Daniel's $5 and buy some more cashews. You guys are funding my lunch. <laughs> Oh, walnut butter. Sounds good. 